Pavlo Kamajonez, kupus, zelena salata, paradajz. Ohayo gozaimasu, or good morning in Japanese. I wish I could learn in Japanese how to stay. I want to stay in bed today. I think Japanese are the most hardworking people in the world for that reason. There's probably no such a thing as I want to stay in bed whole morning in Japanese. I had to wake up already and I just thought like, you know what? But there's no way because there's so much to do and I want to have really nice holidays so I have to get stuff done. Talking about Japanese, I actually have a member of my family, like not immediate family, like extended family, so not like my dad, my mom, my sister, but like the rest of the family, like a cousin, who speaks Japanese fluent and she even lived in Japan, like how incredible is that? For me, I always admire things like that, I think that's so fabulous. I'm gonna wash my hair, I'm gonna do my hair and then... I have so much delegation to do. I'm gonna actually delegate a few things before I get into the shower because washing hair for me takes very long time. Just to wash hair is around half an hour properly to wash it, then to dry it is like an hour. So that's one hour and a half of my time and I cannot do it before I go to bed when it's not working hours because then I go to sleep and then in sleep like because it's like freshly washed it, like the hairstyle gets ruined, so I have to do it now. That is the plan, basically. I'm gonna try and be very productive today. My mom's messaging me. Cute. Anyway, wash my hair and look like I look. Now my mom's calling me. Hello. There we go, this is better, right? Can I make it not crooked? Probably not. <laughs> there we go, I reattached it. Fixed it, I think this is way better now, yes. Okay, so I get a lot of questions about my hair care routine and you guys would like to know and you guys know as well that I get my hair a lot, a lot professionally done. So I always felt like I'm not sure if it's quite fair to tell you like, oh, this is what I do, that is what I do. I guess like still some people care, you know, so for that reason, I'll show you. Today I use the Kerastase Reflection Ban Chromatique, this shampoo, and this is really good for colored hair or highlighted hair because it really maintains your, maintains your color, you know, with like brunette, a paint, a brunette dyed hair it's quite diff tricky because i hate when my hair has like that red like red or even like worse purple tone and it just doesn't suit my skin tone you know it's not that i hate it on other people i hate it on me and then i followed with olaplex hair perfector i use the number three repairs and strengthens all hair type this really helped my hair growth as well as massaging in the resinous oil i massage several different things obviously besides taking the supplements you guys know i take a lot of biotin i massage this in a lot of you have told me that this is great. Camino Moto Super Strength Hair Serum Gold. I got this on Yes Style and I haven't used like too much, but I've used like a nice amount. And honestly, like people say it's great. I don't know because I'm so bad at noticing the hair growth. Today, for the first time ever, I'm also gonna use the IGK Mixed Feelings Leave in Brunette Toning Drops because hopefully this will help me lose that reddish tone that I dislike. First things first, I need to actually dry a little bit my hair because then otherwise I cannot, it's like full of water. I have a lot of hair and it soaks up water so much. So I'm actually going to use two products. My hair dryer, I've been using the same hair dryer for like five years now, it's the GHD one. So I'm gonna use Balma Thermal Protection Spray. I love this and it actually reminds me that the light is changing so much. I think I'm gonna have to go with this. We're gonna have to go with the yellow, sorry. I am going to use Thermal Protection Spray by Balmain. My hair just uses this, he believes in this and I trust him so much. So I'm gonna use this to protect my hair from the heat of the, of the hair dryer. Also, I like that it's spray, so that it's easy to evenly distribute, you know? It smells divine as well. And then, I'm gonna just like work it in a little bit, so that it's there. And after that, I'm also going to use the Kerastase Fluidissime, this is the anti frizz thing. Actually, I don't get that much more frizz since I've done the collagen treatment. If any of you are in Brighton area, I'm happy to recommend my hair uh, dresser in Brighton area, she's really great for defreezing your hair so let me know i'm gonna read what does this igk thing say add to any styler oil or conditioner so wet hair or dry hair i guess wet right how many drops but just three drops uh am i also gonna turn blue because it looks like kind of blue 
right? I bet it's gonna turn everything blue and I'm gonna so regret this, right? Let's see, it smells good. That's a good thing. Actually, my hair is mainly like difficult with color in this area because this is all my natural hair, I believe. Okay, it didn't turn my hands blue, that's a good thing. Shall I use some more? <laughs> if I'm like blue at the end of this, if I'm like a smurf. And you know what, like I'm not a hair expert. I'm not really good at doing my hair. I just do what I do, but when you have a lot of hair it's pretty difficult to be an expert in doing your own hair not complaining about it just putting it out there i am now my boobs out i'm now going to try and dry it off a bit like the hair but i'm not gonna make you watch all of that so let's do it i also want to tell you one more thing nothing in what i'm showing you now about my hair is sponsored and uh, the reason why I say this, I know someone recently left a comment saying like, hey, why do you say it's not sponsored? That brings all of your other um, things that you show into question, whether it's sponsored or not. Actually, no, I don't say about everything, hey, this is not sponsored, you know, I'm showing you this candle, but it's not sponsored. I only say it's not sponsored about the things that I can see at the moment are working like with influencers. So for example, if this brand is doing like, paid partnerships with a lot of influencers at the moment, I show that I like it, then you're gonna think like, oh, she's also paid to do it because everyone else said that they are doing it as part of paid partnership, but she didn't say it, so she's lying about it. So I only say, hey, not sponsored about the products that are currently in uh, paid circulation. Like for example, the GHD hair dryer is like, sponsoring everybody well i'm just gonna tell you hey like no i actually like this is my product like this is nothing to do with the current campaign for this it's just that this, i've used this for five years or like since my old house more than five years so it must be like seven years i don't know but many 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 years so yeah nothing is sponsored i'm just like trying like products that i use and showing you products that i use some some i'm trying for the first time but i'm showing you all of them so basically that's my philosophy behind saying, hey, um, this is not sponsored. It's just because, as well, I don't want you guys to think that I'm not being transparent and not disclosing because you see other people saying like, hey, I'm paid to show this and then I don't say it. It's because I'm not. As simple as that. Okie dokie, my loves. So I've now dried my hair. Well, it's not like fully, fully, fully dry, but I've dried it with the brush, with like a paddle brush, which looks like this. So embarrassing. I hate like when brushes full of hair. I don't actually brush my hair anytime except when I like dry it when I washed it because I have the type of hair that even the hairdressers don't recommend uh, being brushed because the, the that's the hair type, you know, like not everybody has seen hair type like some people unfortunately have to wash hair every single day. I have the hair type that is like dry and it does not need to be washed every day that would be a crime towards the hair so i have the type of the hair which is quite easy easy to maintain and i really like that but as you can see now it's kind of nothing you know like there's no shape to it or style or anything it's just clean so now for the first time ever i'm gonna try and use ghd glide i recently told you guys like oh my god how much i would love to try it so i'm trying it let's unbox it I don't know if I'm going to be able to use this, I don't know if I'm going to know how to use this, but I'm in for trying, you know, and I like trying new things. You know what I also realized, actually, especially during this Vlogmas, after I've dissolved my lip fillers, and literally, like, every single media wrote about it, like, The Sun, um, like, Mail, like, everybody wrote about it, and actually, the words were, sorry, the loud obnoxious neighbor. I had such wonderful comments about doing that. That was really incredible. And the truth be told, I'm so happy. I'm so happy I've done that. People were saying like, oh, it's so sad that you did that in the first place. Like how insecure did you have to be to do that? And I was thinking like, if you've known me, even as a child, I was never insecure. Like I was never insecure person ever. Even like as really young child, I would go like, I don't know, I would like travel with my parents and we were like at Piazza Navona and I would like perform in the market with those like street performance, you know, like, like I would be the one to come to perform. I was never, ever, ever the insecure one. I was always the one that loves performing, but I'm, I was always the one that loves experimenting. Like I love, like once my mom and my sister my whole family actually went to singapore and i was at school so i couldn't go i stayed with my grandmother and i shaved my eyebrows 
when I was four, I cut my fringe off by myself. Like I just wanted to change, you know, like they were horrible, but I wanted to change. And I've always been the same kind of type of person. Like I had hair, I had the ombre style. I had like short hair. I had long hair. I had like blonde highlights. I was blonde, a brunette, like now I'm darker than I was before. Like, I, I guess, you know, I just love experimenting. Like I had my eyebrows microbladed, you know? And when I'm like, oh, I don't like something. I was like, oh, let me try and get like lip injections oh i got bored of it let me remove them it's just the type of person i am but one thing i have to say i would never get a tattoo for exact this reason because i know that you can't just remove a tattoo and i get so bored and i love change you know so for me for someone who loves change so much and i i'm like a person that i'm like okay you know if i got tattooed because i want change then like two months later i'd be like i want change i need to remove this a towel there sorry i'm a person that really really loves change oh, i look beautiful now don't i this should be my thumbnail how does this work let's put it on and then we'll see okay i think it works like the straightness when this is on it means it's not warm yet or something like that so basically here's the story like i am someone who loves the change and who just really i don't think like if you have like lip injections or anything like that it means that you're insecure you know like why would you be insecure it just can mean that you like change like i do so i just try to familiarize myself a little bit with this it's hot okay um and it says this should be used for second day of like your blow dry like second day second day hair haha <laughs> we're not on the second day hair but i just really was so curious to try it so you know it's warm it's actually like really easy to, to brush through because this is so nice. What I'm hoping is that it's just gonna like straighten up some of these crinkles that I have. This is so much easier to use than like for example straighteners, you know, because with straighteners you have to like open and close and brush through. This is like almost like one. I wonder though, what size should I... Let's try... <laughs> this is not a tutorial for this reason. I'm there. I like using like things that are easy. Okay, it gives like a nice little, you know, if you if you would use it properly, Tamara, I'm sure it would give. How? Let's try it like this. Do you think it's gonna work? Ha! Ah, like a nice little curl, you see? No, you cannot see. Anyway, I'm gonna try and do my hair now. Or I'm just going to try and familiarize myself with this before I actually use it. This is like very, very uh, raw. But I really like how easy it is to hold just one thing. Oh, I like it, you know, because it gives my ends a bit of like a life rather than... But you can probably also do like a fully straight job with this. Yeah, like this. So I'm going to see what I'm going to do with my hair now. Any suggestions? Straight or you see like here, it's very crinkly. You see? Oh wow, it does a very good job of like straightening my hair without, oh my god I just got an email which says few tasks for end of the year. Oh no, that was actually my subject to everybody else, I thought that was for me, I was like no, this, this vlog is gonna be so long and I've only just woken up, done some work, by the way I'm like so happy with the results of my piercing that I recently got. I need to call my dad as well because I was kind of like, I almost got in fight with him yesterday because I was moody at the end of the day and then he called me at the wrong time and I was like, ah. Sometimes I'm like that, especially with my dad. Who do you fight with most in your family? Leave a comment below. Who is the person that you fight with most? We all fight with somebody in our family. Maybe in a year I would have once maybe once a year that I would have a fight with my sister and it lasts like 20 minutes and then I would come to her and be like hey I don't want to fight with you because I love you so much and you're like everything to me and I immediately need to speak to you already because she would just sometimes annoy me but it's so short-lived that I cannot fight with her anyway I'm gonna try and do my hair now because this video is gonna be way too long anyway and then I'll update you on what we have achieved Do you think he can get be angry at his favorite? No answer. No answer. Can you see? No answer. 
how long do you think my dad can be angry at his favorite child? Favorite out of two? We'll see. We'll try him again later. Or he'll call me back for sure. He'll miss me too much by the afternoon. I know it. Just a quick, quick, quick update on my thoughts. first time use of Glide. I actually really love how easy it is to maneuver this. It's very light. It's very quick, like warms really quickly. Um, it's kind of like a brush, so you don't need a brush and straighteners or whatever it is that you like to use. The negatives, well, I don't really know how to very well use it because I need to look into it, but in my, or in its defense, I haven't actually <laughs> looked at any like manuals or tutorials but look how easy this is like there's like a crinkle here right and you just go like twice and it's straight you know I don't know like I find this way easier than like fixing something with the straightness but then again it says that it should be used for the second day after washing your hair so like it's basically best for maintenance and I'm kind of going to try it tomorrow again. And I'm going to look at some tutorials today to see how people style their hair with Glide. But so far, this could be my best friend for traveling because it's so small, like a brush. It can serve as a brush and it can serve as a heated brush. And I, I actually achieved perfectly straight hair, which for me it's very difficult to achieve with straightness because I have a lot of hair. So it's like a really, like very like demanding task okay i left one bit here did i no i don't know i think this is pretty nice what do you guys think straight chop i need to chop my hair again in january will i'll get natalia at frank provo to do it guess where i mean where is tamara gonna be if she's spending time at home working because i really want to spend time like i told you guys holidays resting not working i made like a very unhealthy breakfast but i'm the master of making it i don't even know if i should show you because you guys are gonna judge are you gonna judge don't judge me i wouldn't judge you i'd ask you to make me one too <laughs> i made a hot sandwich this is a toast with philadelphia ham grated cheese mayo and ketchup and this is like very very famous kind of thing to eat back home i actually had two which is like four slices of bread, mayo, ketchup, Philadelphia, ham, cheese. Like basically it's like the worst of worst, but I love it. It's so delicious, like hot, it's toasted, it's yummy. And back home, this is the sort of thing that you have in like fast food shops, like the hot sandwich. They like toasted, like where I grew up, like we have so many around and uh, we call them index sandwich, which is like um, index because like students in Serbia, they would have this like little book of their grades and it's called index because students would eat this sandwich. It's called index. And also they would put everything inside. Like also they would put like mushroom and salads, like different kind of salads. My kind of go-to index sandwich would be Pavlaka mayonnaise, kupus, zelena, salata, paradise. I don't know. Basically it's like Philadelphia mayo. I don't like putting ketchup in it normally, like maybe a tiny bit. And then I would have... Uh, like cabbage salad like it's kind of like a coleslaw um lettuce and tomatoes love it and it comes like in a big bun which is more like kifla but yeah uh <laughs> so that's what i'm having for breakfast still having my coffee and i got like massive to-do list let's see what's on my to-do list I'm getting some text messages from louis vuitton because i have my whatsapp on the computer if you don't have your whatsapp on the computer you should have it just not if you're sharing your computer with someone else because then it's a bit tomorrow's to do list so henry sent me this like list of things that i need to do which i prefer because he goes through like inbox and he summarizes everything that's left for me to do especially when i have as i do today 198 emails I'm gonna i'm gonna get to the bottom of that today so he does like um what i need to do so he tells me like you know you need to send an invoice to this brand you need to organize your trip that you have for the next year like because i have one like short personal trip and then he's saying we need to reach out to marcella for some stuff we need to contact this woman for this stuff and it's very like simple it's like please provide statistics for all of these posts provide uh, statistics for all of these posts uh, you need to uh, fill out the questionnaire that i have sent you in the other email please choose a gift from this link and stuff like that and then there's like a recap of following up and there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty things to follow up on so you guys see that's just one email and it's like a massive thing to do so i'm gonna get to work and that's why i'm at the office 
every day and then also that's just my correspondence with Henry then I have like obviously Nina doing like helping me all the stuff with vlogmas so I'm communicating with her let's download today's video she sent to me there we go so i'm like done but i'm not actually bothering her today because nina celebrates like saint nicholas saint nicolo and it's like her slava what we call it in serbia these days like yesterday i think and then um basically i'm not gonna bother her to kind of like be working today you know so like i'm not like doing anything with her today then we have two other girls that are helping me with organization of certain things until the end of the year so yeah it's a lot of like back and forth delegation reviews approvals and that's kind of what i'm doing today so many messages i'm so popular today i am editing pictures for the blog posts that are coming up i have quite a few because we're trying to publish at least three blog posts a week every single week and we've been successful at it so i'm very happy there's like a whole blog post about like logo trend skincare uh, getting a custom made foundation for you which i already kind of discussed i don't know like a lot of different ones and um i even read in a blog post about how to get a birkin bag um like things like that and now i'm editing uh pictures for the next one and while i'm editing i usually like either to listen to music or to watch something that is engaging like my brain a little bit in a different way so i can get more creative so i try not to overthink like creative processes and i just let the juices flow you know in the brain and that that way i'm usually like best with music or with kind of some kind of programs but i like randomly clicked on what was recommended on netflix and it's called with cats hunting an internet killer and normally i don't watch cut things like this because they're a little bit disturbing because this is obviously about an internet killer that like started by killing cats it's like terrible 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 and it's quite disturbing but i've watched now an episode and a half and i'm just like it's not really the best thing to watch if you're extremely emotional which i am and probably tonight when i go to bed this is gonna haunt me but i love watching netflix documentaries like i told you i watched the devil next door it's a true story and this is a true story too and it's pretty incredible so i'm watching it and i'm editing pictures i love the pictures from the switzerland trip there are so many beautiful ones i still have so many to post and then i have so many more from amsterdam to post too so it's like pretty crazy i just remember that i have another vlog post to edit okay i'm gonna do that as well and then i have to get on to the henry's to-do list because i told him i will still watching this i also need to make like a few kind of so many emails to do but also i made myself some pasta for you guys who are wondering what do I eat throughout the day? Do I eat carbs? Do I not? I most certainly do. However, I do not eat anything after 6 p.m. It's my kind of like routine that really works well with my body. Dinners just do not seem to work for me. I'm having a little break because I just realized I never really unboxed this. I got as a present really something exciting and I never managed to open it because I really wanted to open it with you guys. I think the light is a bit off. So it is an Apple watch. I have received this from Apple, but actually like it's more like to try it, not as like, hey, we just want to give you a gift. It's more like, hey, we want you to try this and let us know what you think. Um, I'm in no obligation to post anything about it, etc. I just really, really wanted to try it. I never decided to purchase Apple Watch. I purchased every other product under the sun. So, like, I bought my new iPhone. I have an iMac. I have a MacBook. What's this thing called? Just a MacBook. Like, I don't even think they sell these little ones anymore. I have a MacBook Pro. I have earpods, earpods pro. I was like the first person, like my first ever mp3 player that I ever had was a big iPod. My dad bought it for me uh, when he was traveling somewhere at the airport, but I never bought an Apple watch. The reason why is it never appealed to me and I thought that I'm always going to be really disturbed by it because you know like you're constantly like being given these notifications and like what's going on and who's messaging you and who's not messaging you. I think that's even worse. So I never got this but when they asked me if I would like to try it I was like well actually do you know what I think I would like to try it because several times I did go to shop. Oops, I did go to shop and I was considering buying it, but it never really happened. So here we go. This is the plug into the wall. This is the charger, which looks like this. And then this is the actual watch. So let's try and start it up. Like I was saying before, what worried me the most is that I will constantly be bombarded with 
notifications well it's so pretty actually however they've told me that you know what you can decide what kind of notifications you want to receive and what you don't want to receive and it's pretty helpful because you don't constantly have to carry your phone and stare or stare at your phone like if i'm around my house i can just have my watch not actually carry my phone i've also received two different different straps i know that um you can kind of choose what strap you want this is like a rubber gray one but then there's also a pink one and i think i'm gonna use a pink one i would like to try it so but what really really attracted me to it was the fact that you can monitor your movement a lot more you like slide this thing in <sighs> like this what i really liked about it is that you can monitor your i don't even know if this is now upside down but it doesn't look right okay this is like a strap i like i really like this this could be so cool for the gym as well you can actually monitor your uh, movement and your sort of like activity and there's something called circles and i felt like such a kind of completely left out person because they were all talking about this thing called the circles we're starting it up so apparently throughout the day you're supposed to sit uh, no stand certain amount of time climb certain amount of stairs i don't know like walk and run and um, they were saying how difficult it is to um, kind of like achieve these goals but actually you can set up your personal goals as whatever you want so I'm gonna try and set it up I actually really like what it looks like on my wrist very like sporty and cool you know low battery to continue connect Apple watch to its charger okay if you say so so I'm gonna set it up now and then hopefully by the end of the vlogmas it's gonna be a few days and I'll be able to tell you what I really think about it like I said I never actually uh, owned an Apple watch before I think it goes underneath but I'm actually very excited to you know like test it okay this is how it charges it's like a magnetic thing you can't see can you there we go I'm gonna set it up now I'm not gonna bore you with that and yeah like I'll let you know my thoughts Hopefully before the end of Christmas. Bring iPhone near Apple Watch. Okay, here we go. There. Oh my God, they're both pink now. Because I have the exact same pink. This is the part that I was telling you about. Wait, how can I show you? It says setup activity. My height is 170. Well, my height is, I think, 172, but sometimes 174. Of course, this depends because you guys know if they measure you in the mornings, then it's always 174. If they measure me like in the afternoons, it's 172. But I just thought I'd be modest. My weight is between 54 and 58 kilos, so I put the mean value 56. And then you continue and it asks you what's your daily move goal. Set a daily move goal based on how active you are or how active you like to be. I would like to put as 510 calories a day. And then keep your Apple Watch up to date. I'm not gonna forget because you guys love it so much. My Dior advent calendar first ha huh, where is 22 over here oh 30 montan i have a full-size candle that smells like this and i love it it reminds me of my office space it's so beautiful it's a beautiful candle it's really difficult for me to describe what it smells like but it's stunning and then over here in the harris beauty calendar we also have 22 how many more days so three here and i think i think that the other one goes until 24 i'm not sure i'm gonna have to look into it oh oh my god this is this is pretty crazy this is the forel luna play it's the mini one which is so fabulous for traveling so really cannot believe that this comes in an island calendar this is crazy i hope the mic is not gonna be muffled because the camera is balancing on my it was balancing let me see if i can do it this way yes maybe i can do it this way then i can come down even more a little bit today's vlog is a bit of a failure but i think out of 20 what's today 22 vlogs i'm allowed a day that just doesn't really work out am i maybe i'm not i don't know i'm just doing my evening skincare routine by the way i keep so many skincare products in my drawer next to my bed i don't know if i've ever shown you that but that's basically the case. I'm just deep popping a little bit. Tomorrow's gonna be a bit more fun, I promise. I actually need to finish off some Christmas presents as well. I'm definitely gonna go out. I want to go for a pedicure. I want to um, 
go and get some as well like last minute gifts that I need to do which means that I have to brace crowds it's that's basically one of my most hated things but that's okay before I go to bed I'm gonna say three things that I'm grateful for that make me happy I'm gonna watch like something else either on Netflix or I'm gonna watch a TED talk because I want like I'm gonna feel amazing I love how inspiring TED talks are for me it's always like very 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 um inspiring and uplifting and that's basically it i'm sorry i was not much of entertainment today and now on unlock mac with apple watch not now i'm now on 75 emails so i'm doing pretty well i think tomorrow i should be like finally done with everything and then it's like gonna be really nice and Christmassy. With that, I just wanted to say thank you for watching. Have a wonderful night and I'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye guys.